hello hello welcome back guys it's a beautiful sunday it sucks that the weekend's almost over though doesn't it i know it does so today i am doing my favorite july products some of these products i literally just got in the mail like maybe a week ago well one of these products anyway but um I just I had to put it in here because I absolutely love this thing that I got about a week ago I got it in my box box so that's a little clue as to what it may be okay so today on my face I just went very very light it's a t-shirt kind of day and I'm just chilling hair thrown back and one of my favorite products that I like to use you know sometimes if I want a bit more coverage than what face powder is going to give me um, and you know it may not be too hot outside then I will use my Maybelline Dream BB Fresh I love this stuff it has just the right amount of tint in my opinion um, I do have others but this is my favorite I got this at the dollar store it's my absolute favorite so I am wearing this on my face today a tiny bit of concealer my Maybelline Fit Me face powder and I did a little bit on the eyes I'm still using the Anika K eyeshadow I told everyone I was going to be using it for about a week every day just to see how I like it how um, you know how well it does so I am wearing that on the eyes just two colors today very simple and you know I've got some eyeliner and I've got my elf lipstick on and that is all I'm doing today so let's get started with the favorite products the first one I got in Oh goodness, it was one of my monthly description boxes. I don't remember what it was. I have no idea. It was either the BFF or the FabFitFun maybe, or maybe on a different one, but as the Marrakesh oil. You see this? It is a Argan and Hemp Oil Therapy Hair Styling Elixir Original Scent. Oh, this stuff smells so good. I can't even explain it. It's... Oh it's almost like a light scented perfume for your hair or something I can't even explain it and the oil is so light comes out just clear has a little pump bottle and it comes out just clear see that and it is just super super light it just disappears in your hands and you just put it in your hair to get that amazing shine but the reason why I love this stuff because I swear my hair didn't start growing back until I started using this okay I lost quite a bit of hair due to my health and I had a few bald spots and I had a lot of thinning and I started using this because I was trying to find something that would help my hair to grow back and this right here this little puppy right here has been doing the job my hair is finally starting to thicken up and it's starting to grow back so I absolutely love this stuff love it love it love it and it lasts a long time I've had this for a few months and I don't know if you can see where it ends but anyway it's right here and I've had this for about two months or so now maybe if not longer so it lasts a long time you literally put like two or three drops in your hand rub it through your hair get it on your scalp and you're good to go love it my husband loves it too he absolutely loves the smell of that he is always smelling my hair and it's that stuff that he's smelling okay the next item i got i have here i've had for quite a while maybe six months if not longer and i only recently started using this in maybe the last month or so it might be slightly longer but it is my pacifica power of love matte lipstick in the color sweet one I was also wearing this in yesterday's video but that is the color it is it's definitely more of a mauve it's it's pretty close to what I'm wearing right now on the lips it's pretty close to that and it is vegan so it does have that um, clay dirt kind of smell but in a good way not in a bad way I don't want you to think like oh my god it smells like dirt it's like it's it's clean and it only has that smell because it's you know vegan and natural but I love it if you're like me and you have dry lips or you're always licking your lips or applying chapstick this is definitely the perfect matte 
this one and my e.l.f. one, in my opinion, are the perfect formula formulas for matte lipsticks for people who have dry lips or whatever. Perfect, perfect. Your lips are going to feel so soft and so moisturized wearing this. You will not need to reapply your lipstick wearing this. Maybe once, I mean, me, I wear my makeup for like five or six hours and I never have to reapply this lipstick right here. Pretty much every other lipstick I own, I kind of have to reapply it, but not this matte one right here. It is absolutely perfect. Awesome. And I think they go for like 10 or $11 on the website. So they're really good. The next one I have is my Makeup Forever Mascara. I also got this item in one of my subscription boxes. I couldn't even tell you which one. Um, I've had it for a while and this is the Smoky Extravagant one. And I use this a lot and I also have a new one that I got in one of my other boxes. It's the, um, here it is. It's the uh, Marcel, Maricel or Marcel. Also one of my favorites. So I'm gonna say these two are probably my favorite mascaras that I have been wearing quite a bit um, in the last month. This one I just got like maybe a week or so ago and I've been wearing it a lot too. Um, I do wear lashes at some times, but a lot of times I just don't really want to put on the lashes, but I want my lashes to appear, um, to appear longer, maybe a little bit fuller. These two do that for me. I put probably about two, maybe three coats of this on and it does the perfect job that I'm looking for without having to put my lashes on. Now, yes, my lashes would look better, longer, fuller if I put the lashes on. But, you know, sometimes I'm just running to the store, you know, and it's hot outside. It's Texas. I'm sweating like a pig. The last thing I want to do is put lashes on. By the time I get home, they're hanging half off, you know, half off my lids. So these are my go-to for the summer so that I don't have to put lashes on. I absolutely love these two. Then we have a Wet n Wild product. I picked this up, I want to say about a month ago, from Dollar Tree. It is the Wet n Wild Fergie Highlighters. And it is the, well, it's a shimmer palette. And it's in the color Hollywood Boulevard. So I hope it shows up on the camera, but it has gold, brown, and pink in it. You see that? That's gold, brown, and pink. And it is so freaking pretty. It is so soft, so smooth. You see that? Look at that shade, right? Gorgeous, right? I'm gonna put it on my hand, rub it in a tiny bit, and that's what you get. Okay, the more you rub, the more it blends in, you know, like most products, but that is what you get. So it's very, very pretty. I do use this one a lot as, um, I mean, I have used it as a highlighter for the cheeks. I, I don't wear highlighter all that often. I just don't. Usually if I do, it's down the nose, you know, on the cupid's bow or just under the brows. I use this a lot for those places. So that's a great one. And it was only a dollar at Dollar Tree. I got lucky. I got like eyeshadows and stuff from there. I have yet to really try the eyeshadows out. I will and I will be doing some videos on those ones for you guys. So the last item I have, I got maybe about a week ago, like I was saying, and I was lucky enough to get the Hourglass uh, box box, and it came with the foundation and the foundation brush. Now, if you watch the video that I posted, I, I did like the foundation. What I didn't like is that it did have oil in it, so for my oily skin, it just didn't work out. It was an absolute mess. But I did love the, the formula. I loved the feel, the lightness. I loved how when you blended it in, it really did feel like face powder. And this brush was absolutely perfect. It really was. But the foundation did not work out for me, but the brush did. So this is what the brush looks like. And it says Hourglass on it. And this is the foundation brush. See that? So I still got some foundation in there. To see how nice and dense that is and it's just like the perfect size you just hold it in your hand you know and it's just 
perfectly round. I think for me, it's, it's perfect. It's just, I love it. And it's super, super soft. If you have any of the Wet n Wild brushes, the new makeup brushes, the white and pink ones, that is what this brush right here feels like. It is really, really soft. And you're thinking, wow, it's kind of small for, you know, a foundation brush. But it is perfect. It is just like the perfect shape to get up in the corners and all that. They did a great job in designing this brush right here. All right, guys. So that is all my favorite items for the month of July. I will be posting my least favorite items for the month of July pretty soon. Um, not sure if I'll do it tonight. I probably will since I've, you know, still got the makeup on. I'll probably do it right after this video. But uh, until next time, peace, God bless. I love you guys and stay safe. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Bye-bye.